Hello everyone, we are the students of Liceo Bruno Tuschek and we are going to show you what we like and what we think could be improved in our school in terms of sustainability and activities, from the laboratories to the garden. Enjoy the video! All around our school there are green spaces, in particular we have a little garden and then small portions of grass and trees, however sometimes they are not care enough due to the lack of stuff. Another important part of our school is the gym. Our gym is very large, equipped with all the sports didactic tools and the dressing room. The gym space comprehends a volleyball court, full table tennis courts and large stands that guarantee a great view on the court. There is also an outdoor part that consists of a football field and a runway with 4 lanes and 100 meters long. In our school we are lucky enough to have potable water from the tubs in the bathrooms, so we don't have to use too many plastic bottles. The panel installed of our rooftop allowed us to experience the practical benefits of our solar electric system. In 2010, needed photovoltaic panels were installed on our rooftop and they provide every day a large amount of solar energy for our school and reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Solar panels have been installed in about 300 schools in Rome and this will help us to produce sustainable energy reducing the amount of oil in order to fight pollution and gas emissions. We felt proud to be part of a school community that is reducing greenhouse gas emissions. In our school we have three laboratories, the computer lab, the chemistry laboratory and the physics laboratory, with many objects to study different physical phenomena. However, these are not so big and some uh, components aren't enough used. In our school, the trash is stored and collected by janitors in buckets that are present in classes or even in the corridors for the recycling. However, some people don't use this system and throw waste on the ground, which has a negative impact for the school itself. Another problem in our school are the holes on the street. It makes it difficult to walk and can be very dangerous for both cars and pedestrians, especially when it rains and they fill with water. Hi everyone, today we will talk about the attraction that young people go to in our cities, Grotta Ferrata and Frascati. Let's start! Now we are in Traiano Park. This is the Abbazia of San Nilo. There often young people meet and festival and fairs are hosted. This is Mercato Coperto, where at night kids usually meet to hang out together. As you can see, unfortunately, they made a lot of graffitis. Instead, in the morning, it becomes a farmer's market and unfortunately, it creates a lot of waste. This parking lot in summer and Christmas are organized, festival and fairs. As you can see, there are also recycling bins. And there is also a water dispenser with sparkling and still water. This is Fondi, one of the best coffee restaurants in Grotta Ferrata, where young people meet because it makes delicious breakfast and wonderful aperitivi. As you can see, Grotta Ferrata is well connected to Rome by a bus line. Due to the fact that Frascati is a city placed on a hill, people used to move by using cars and the absence of cycling tracks cannot let people use and move by using bicycles. We are at the train station of Frascati from where youngs usually take trains to get to Rome in less than 30 minutes. This, this train station uh, easily connects uh, uh, the city of Frascati uh, with the capital city of Italy, uh, Rome. We are now in front of the cinema of Frascati, uh, where uh, youngs came to see the latest film published. 
It is not so far from the city center, so it can be easily reached on foot, and it's one of the greatest and most important attractions for people in, in the city of Frascati. It is one of the main important theater in Frascati called Teatro Capocroce. One of the most famous bar in Frascati called Tarbert, where lots of us spend their evenings and have lots of fun. Even if Frascati has lots of great activities, there are missing ones like discos, bowling and shopping malls that we can find in city near us. Unfortunately, the beauty of Frascati is contaminated by the absence of bins for recycling, thus increasing the pollution already given by the traffic. The cities of Frascati and Grottaferrata are a green lung in the province of Rome. They have several green areas, unfortunately not properly exploited. In particular, Frascati is famous for its villas. Today, some are privately managed and therefore are maintained, characterized by immense and ornate gardens. Seen from the outside, they look wonderful. But going into the most hidden corners, you can notice disgusting details, such as fountains and monuments used as landfills, plastic, paper and various waste everywhere, or beautiful green areas left uncultivated. In public parks, there are also play areas for children, zone for physical activity, skating rinks and meeting areas. The suburbs are characterized by a several amount of green areas, which are in most of the cases used as agricultural lands for olive trees and vineyards. In other cases, these valleys had become big public parks, as Tusculum, where you can have a picnic or go for a run, surrounded by remains of ancient Roman domus. <laughs> <laughs> 